Meanwhile, in Nebraska, there were plenty of Siouxland teams still alive in that state tournament, starting off with the Oakland Craig Knights in C2, who beat Ponca in the first round of the tournament yesterday and battled the St. Cecilia Blue Hawks today. Let's head down to Lincoln to see how this one shakes out. Fourth quarter, Knights down by 12, but Ashley Denton chips away at that lead with a huge three-pointer. Later on, Dacey Nelson's shot is not going to go, but Janine Blayek is there for the board, the putback, and the foul to bridge the gap even more. Final seconds of the game now. OC down three, and Nelson throws it up. And it is going to get in just before the buzzer to send this one into overtime. The Knights would continue to fight throughout, but just could not complete the comeback. They lose a heartbreaker, 72-68. to On the other side of the C2 bracket, Crofton battled Fillmore Central. First quarter, Crofton's Danielle Steffen dishes it to Lacey Sparkle for the bucket and the early lead. Later on, it's going to be Steffen this time. She is going to knock down a three-pointer from the wing. That puts the Warriors up by 10. But the Panthers are going to slowly claw their way back as Jacqueline Shelkopf pulls up at the top of the key and hits nothing but net for the tray. But Crofton would keep scoring. Sparkle connects on the 15-footer. She would finish with 28 points. And Crofton would ride to a 63-44 victory, setting up a battle with St. Cecilia tomorrow for the state championship. Like this team just keeps getting better and they're stepping up to the moment and that's what that's what you got to do in these moments. I mean the teams that are playing tomorrow at Pinnacle Bank Arena step up in the moments. We really believe that we can do it. We can come out tomorrow. We we can we definitely feel confident that we can be on top as long as we play together as a team, stick together and I have a great feeling that's what we're going to do. Crofton is looking for its ninth state title and its first since winning five straight from 2012 to 2016. And for the final game of the night, why not battling the BDS Eagles? First quarter, why not's Caitlin Himes picks off the pass and takes it all the way home for the bucket. But the Eagles are going to use their height to their advantage. Reagan Alfs is going to grab the rebound off the missed shot and put it back for two and a small BDS lead. The Blue Devils, though, are going to keep it close. Himes again wide open and she gets the three ball to drop. This one would go back and forth the whole way and it's going to be Why Not that pulls away down the stretch. They win it 53 to 40 and they're headed to the championship game.